Hi everyone, it's Vahid. I wanted to share a poem with you, Bani Adam. It's a poem by Sadi, Iranian poet. And it says, human beings are member of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. If one member is inflicted with pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you have no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot pertain. And uh, this is also reflected in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and consciousness and should act towards one another in spirit of brotherhood. The reason I bring this up is I shared this poem with the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots mailing list. And one of the campaign members suggested that I was being too aggressive. See, over 70 days ago, I asked the campaign to stop killer robots to uh, condemn the autonomous weapons and uh, AI that's used in targeting of Palestinians. Since then, campaign members have either said uh, I should be warned, expelled, and a member of the steering committee committee directly communicated with me that I should not raise questions about the campaign's transparency, its actions on the campaign mailing list, to which I replied, I will take my grievances to a public forum. The campaign to stop killer robots, here's their banner. I've been a member for five years. My previous organization, Ethics and Tech, was a multiple grant recipient produced many videos and content pieces for them. That was the only organization that ever funded us. We never sought corporate funding. We never wanted to get corporate funding. It was 100% grad through. The fact is, there's a letter now demanding that the steering committee and campaign members respond to what is taking place in Gaza and use of autonomous weapons and uh, humanitarian crisis that it caused. You know, um, what I find amazing is that some of these organizations that value the human rights, that uh, state that they're against dehumanization, um, but those values don't seem to apply equally to everyone. they rather choose to be silent and not say a word when a human catastrophe is taking place, when tens and thousands of mothers and kids are dead or buried or alive, when human rights workers, aid workers, UN workers, journalists are targeted using these autonomous weapons and AI, they remain silent. They brag about their humanity. They wear it as a badge of honor, but I would argue they lack it. Either um, they don't want to disclose who their funders are, who's on their steering committees, or the people that receive campaign dollars are reluctant to say anything because they're worried about their next grant from the campaign. So as a former uh, campaign recipient of multiple grants, I want to highlight the fact that this is an old logo this is an old banner that I was left with uh, because they have updated their logo and banner. Um, and I don't have one of those to show you. But um, as you know, this year in Bethlehem, they're not celebrating Christmas. This year in Bethlehem, they're, on, they're praying for peace in Gaza and in West Bank and in the occupied territories. I have three requests. First, if you're good at prayers, please pray because the world needs it. There's a lot of global conflicts going on in Ukraine, in Gaza, in Palestine, in Sudan and elsewhere, and the world needs your prayers. But two things that I wanna highlight. One is action. Take direct action. By direct action, that means participate in demonstrations and marches and boycotts, sign letters, petitions, please consider 
taking a moment and signing on to the letter that we have put out publicly to stop killer robots campaign for accountability, for transparency, for dealing fairly with its previous employees, Usman Noor, and for making a public statement in regards to condemnation of what is taking place in the occupied territories. And finally, charity. I'm not saying just donate and give money and forget about it. On the contrary, the biggest charity you could give is your time. That two minutes that you take in sharing this video, in sharing this content, in sharing this letter, and making sure our voices get heard, that the voices of humanity gets heard by organizations like Campaign to Stop Killer Robots, as an example, or other organizations that brag the right of humanity, like Minds Action Canada, Article 36, all tech is human. Uh, you know, what an oxymoron. Ethics and tech was an oxymoron. Same with all tech is human. Uh, after seeing the devastation that tech does, it's hard to say anything about it that's human. Anyways, the letter is below. Please sign it. Please share this video and kindly share the letter and act and practice charity. You guys can pray at night or over Christmas meal, but please act and practice charity. Thank you.